Hi everybody. So today I'm gonna show you how to make this bracelet. It is super easy and the reason I made it is because my daughter asked me if I can make her a bracelet. She never asked me never to make something for her so of course I got right to it and I said okay yes I'll make you a bracelet. So um this is what I made for her. Uh, she asked me to put a key charm on it, so I did. You can probably add it anywhere you want if you want to add that. Um, so like I said, it's very easy. So you're going to need some type of clasp. I used this one. I don't know what it's called because um, I only had the bag. So, But I have this, and then if you want to use... Um, some chain in case you know it doesn't fit you can adjust the, the size and I got these uh, charm keys uh, Michaels they came like I want to say like 10 or 20 of them um, so and I used uh, these beads right here um, I could have used better beads you know more shiny and nicer but this is what I have so um, this is size 6-0 and I'm going to be using light blue thread, uh, cut and thread size 10 and my needle is size 5 and you're going to need some scissors. Um, okay, so let's get started. I went ahead and I put in my clasp inside. You don't have to... Um, uh, uh, thread uh, your knee your needle right now um, hold on I'm gonna need um, something else um, you might need I don't know if you can see it it's uh, kind of clear it's just I forgot, it's fishing wire yes fishing wire uh, for the beads um, you can use any other method but this is what I do so um, You'll see. So you're going to leave a tail or about, about 40 inches, I want to say. Um, it's not, and it depends how big your bracelet, you know, how big your wrist is. Um, so you might need more, but I'm going to leave a, about 40. If I have leftover, if I have a lot of leftover, it's okay. I'll just cut it. <laughs> okay, so... We're going to start with, let me open it up so I can kind of look at it. Okay. So we're going to start with a chain, but for the chain, and I put them backwards, I put this one first. It doesn't matter. Here, I'm going to take it off. Ugh, come on off my thread sorry I haven't been making YouTube uh, videos in a while so okay and it's kind of cool because it fits on my needle so if I want to take it off and I made a mistake I can just go through it we're gonna start with the chain so let me move this out the way so go ahead and start grab your thread after the class Okay, so um, you can also add beads if you want for this part. If you want it to look a little bit more fancy, you know, for the for the little pickles, but I didn't. Uh, my dad doesn't really like fancy stuff that much, so I didn't. Okay, let me move this out of the way. So, okay, so we're going to start with the chain of a total of six picos so two double stitches pico 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 two double stitches um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, so our sixth one, it's gonna be a little longer because this is where our bead is gonna go in. Okay, so it's just gonna be a bit longer. Not that much, just a little bit. So two double stitches, okay? So you have just the last pico, the sixth one a little bigger. Uh, six picos with two double stitches in between. So go ahead and close, finish your chain. You got a knot there. And our clasp is gonna be at the end, just like that. Okay, and it looks like I got the thread on top, kind of got tangled. There we go, that's better. Okay, so you're gonna reverse your work, make a little knot. And you're gonna do a ring, right? Let me look at my work. Yes, you're gonna do a ring. So, five double stitches. And you're going to join to the little uh, loop where our clasp is. Okay, so just go in there. You can use a uh, crochet needle. I mean crochet, not crochet needle, a hook. If you can join, but you're just gonna go in there. See, it's just where the the clasp is just put your needle and the thread right there in the little loop if you're having problems doing it like I said just use a crochet um, hook so just join right there just like that okay just at the bottom Okay, and five double stitches. Okay. So just right there, our chain. Okay. Close your ring. Reverse your work and we're gonna make another chain. So put your needle on top of your ring, two double stitches, same thing, six picos with two double stitches in between, with the last pico being a little bit bigger. So one double, I mean, one pico. Two pickles, three, four, six. Okay, so one, two, three. Three, four, five, six. Go ahead and finish that chain. Okay. 
reverse your work. There's your teardrop. Make a knot. And I think I left too long of a tail, but it's okay. Okay. So, now we're going to do another ring. So put your needle at the end of that chain and five double stitches. Okay. So, this is where we're going to add our beads. And I've done this before in another um, video. It's a green necklace. It's a picture of a, new, a green necklace. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna grab the see-through fishing wire. You're gonna go inside the six pico that we made, which we made bigger. And then you're gonna put the ends together, right? And then you're gonna grab your beat, put the beat through those through the fishing wire. Make sure that both the ends are inside the beat. Pull it down onto the pico. You see that? Now our bead is on top of our pico. And we have this little loop right there. See that little loop? We need that loop. Okay. So now make sure your work is looking like this because you're going to join right there. So I got my chain and my Double stitches should be looking uh, down, okay, from my ring. The ones we did, the five, it should be looking down. They're going to try to go up, but you got to make them go down. So find that loop and put your needle in there. If you have to pull it a little more, go ahead and do that. I'm going to put my needle in there. And pull the fishing wire out. So see? My double stitches are facing down. I put my needle in the loop. And now I'm going to join to the loop. If you need a crochet hook, go ahead and get one. So now I'm going to pull it tight and I may, I, I joined there. So you always going to join to the six pico. Okay. That's why we make it bigger. So you have enough room to have a loop on top of your bead. So five double stitches. Okay. And close your ring. Pull it. Reverse your work. And that's what we have so far. Okay, so we're going to make another, I'm going to do another chain and another ring with you. And then you can continue by yourself. It's not very hard. It's a very easy pattern. Um, not hard at all. So, another chain, two double stitches, pico. Double stitches, pico, two double stitches, pico, two 
Pull out the stitches. Get more thread. Pico two double stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five. Two double stitches. And then my big one, my big pico. Mm. Make it a little bit bigger, just a bit. Sometimes your finger can help you measure your pico because you can go there and just hold it or you know you can kind of measure with your finger. So two double stitches. Okay. And close your ring. Oh no, not your ring, your chain. Okay. Make sure it's not tangled. Nice. Okay, reverse your work. Make a knot. And this is what we have so far. So do next ring, five double stitches. Okay, now we're going to use the, so it's not the previous chain because, you know, I can't say use the pico from the previous chain because we made one chain and then that ring and that's not what you join in the previous chain. So, you know, so it, I don't know how you will say it, but, you know, you don't, join to your previous chain you join to the one before that always so grab your fishing wire okay put it in that last pico and you know if you can find an easier way to do this that's awesome and maybe you can share it with me <laughs> But this works for me. So then I'm going to put the bead in the fishing wire. And then I'm going to pull it down. Just like that. And I'm going to grab my work. Uh, just be careful your work don't turn because it kind of tends the double stitches to start like moving so that's why I like to do that uh, five double stitches the first part of the ring you know and then finish it so just make sure your stitches are in the bottom before you join um, I don't know if that makes any sense but if you you know if if it's easier for you to do that bead before that, before you start your ring, then go ahead and do it. So I'm going to go inside the loop and top of the bead. And I'm going to join. Nice and snuggle. And then five double stitches. Okay. And then close your ring. see so as you can see it's I I did um, um, let's see I did one two three four five six seven eight nine rings and I kind of keep measuring my wrist 
and see you know if I was close so just keep measuring your rest um, let's see I'm gonna show you how to finish it even though I'm not done just because um, the program I used to use to link two videos together I, I can't make it work for some reason so we're just gonna you know pretend this is your last one right here um no over here sorry over here so uh let me do one more chain and one ring and then i can show you how to do that part okay so let's reverse our work sorry I said I'll come back and meet you but I forgot my my program is not working so let's do one more chain so one, two, and I believe the last one I only did five one two three four yes so this will be the last chain that you do and it's only five five picos not six because we don't need a six one to put a bead in so your last chain is gonna be five picos only so one I hope I'm not confusing you you can always can send me a message on Facebook or um, Instagram or Twitter or even leave a comment on my on my uh, video and then I'll try to help you um, like I said before um, I used to be able to put little annotations on my videos but YouTube took that away so it's kind of hard to go back and add you know I don't know So one, two, three, four, five. So this, just pretend this is your last chain. So you're only gonna have five, five picos because you're not gonna need the sixth one. So then you go like this. And I'm just showing you how I did it. You know, you might find an easier way to do it with, you know, whatever works for you, you know. Um, so let's do, so this is where um, I put, and I took it off. This is where I put my, um, my other part of my clasp, actually. So if you don't have it on already, you put it on now, or you can, if you have it on your thread, then you add it. So then we're going to go five double stitches. And there's some clasp that you, that you can open them and close them so you shouldn't worry about putting it there or whatever you want to put it so like i said just pretend this is the last chain that you did and the last ring that you're about to do so then i'm gonna add my last bead Just trying to show you how to finish it. I'll figure something out. I have to figure out how to use that the uh, editing thing, and then I'll be able to make little clips and then add them together. Okay, so join with to the loop. And 
Don't tell me you're giving me problems right at the last one. <laughs> yep, that always happens. Okay, good. So then I'm gonna join, and then you have your other. So then five double stitches. And then close your ring. And there you have it. So you just have to add a knot and weave in your thread. So my butter is going dead. Oh my goodness. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and happy tatting.